paradox. <laughs> how do I start this? Straighten the hat. Sometimes it is pretty crazy how things work out. So I've been trying to figure out a battery tray for my Habao VT. And I'm not somebody that likes to majorly modify things. I try to like work within what I've got. So I found a battery tray that I thought was going to work, which was this one right here. And it does work. This is actually a battery tray off of the Habao Hyper MT Plus, uh, Plus 2. And the thought was, was basically to place it in there, which would make it a side mount, which was fine. No big deal. Plenty of protection. Uh, it would butt up against there. The only issue that I was have, having was the actual mount where I would have to um, either Velcro or put a strip of sticky tape along this bottom wedge, which is no big deal. Uh, I was liking the fitment. Everything seemed to fit just fine. But for the longest time, I've actually wanted to put an Arma battery tray in here and the reason why i say an arma battery tray because of this thing right here so this is obviously my arma mojave and i love the configuration of this battery tray so what i ended up doing was i bought a like mojave care package from jenny's rc and wouldn't you know it without even measuring without even anything the battery tray is almost a direct install other than me having to obviously drill holes and and countersink a couple of things it's just one of those deals where man how can you get it any better than this so this is the mojave battery tray it actually comes with i don't even know where it went now ah right there it came actually with this battery box right here right not a battery box uh whatever it is box all right, so it attaches underneath, just like this. Something like that. Just like that, with two screws. And obviously, it, it, it provides a place for you to have your receiver. So what I did is I took it off. Realized that the form factor for this thing, mocking it up very simply, placed it in place. And I was like, ah, I don't really like the angle. I'd rather have it straight. And I'm looking, looking around. And realizing, check this out. So see this little gap or see that little block right there, that standoff? It's like a rigidity piece. If that's kind of almost placed up against the ESC. Look at, look at the spacing of this battery tray. Everything about that battery tray is going to work. When you want to talk about something that's like fate or made for it, that arm of battery tray literally is made for this VT. So, if you're interested in watching this episode from RC Guy Garage, all it really is going to be is me wrenching on my VT and fitting an Arma Mojave factory battery tray in the chassis of the VT. So, let's just get into it. See, I've got you guys right here. So I can see, make sure everything's kind of in frame. Um... All right, so where are we? So basically the battery placement or the uh, tray placement is exactly right here. One of the things that I noticed on the bottom of this is it has actually locator holes. So there's one, two, three, four. And what will happen is if I drill these down into the chassis with uh, just about a five millimeter drill bit, it's basically what it measures out to. It's like 4.73. And I think this drill bit that I found is 4.73 or five or something like that. 4.73, 4.74. These little things are... Oh, actually, it's bigger. Well, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe I will have to use a slightly bigger drill bit. Could use this one right here. So, it, and what it, do, what it does is it's going to allow me to sink the battery tray down into the chassis and lock it in. And then there's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws that actually mount this uh, battery tray to the chassis. So what I need to do first is I need to, uh, number one, locate the battery tray, right? So I need to locate the battery tray in the exact place that I want it, which is basically right there. Now what I should do is I should take a clamp and clamp it down so that I can make sure this stays stable, drill a couple of holes just so I can locate um, 
the actual, you know, tray into the chassis. And then what I'll do is I'll flip it upside down. I'll place a piece of cardboard on it and I'll do impressions of the cardboard to put impressions for where these need to go in the chassis. So there's one, two, three, four of those that actually need to be drilled into the chassis. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to make sure this is lined up. I should do what I said about the dropping it down into position and uh, putting a clamp on it. But uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to rely on my eyes. So I'm just going to get a small drill bit for now. Just small enough so I can actually put it through and not have an issue. And I'm going to keep wires and stuff out of the way for now. I uh, guess that's not going to stay out of my way. So it is up against the corner of the um, thing here. I should do is get a block of wood. I'll be right back. What the block of wood is going to allow me to do is just elevate my chassis so that I can drill into the actual block of wood and not into um, not into my bench. So two blocks of wood, just like that. It'll support the actual chassis. Make sure this stays in place where I want it. Pretty much like, I believe like that. We're enough away from there. Got plenty of room on the back side here. And I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna drill a hole right here. First hole. Right through there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, an aloe knife and just make sure I keep that hole located. At least I think I'm gonna. There we go. That way it's like, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to move. Now I'm going to go for the forward hole, which is that one right there. Uh, it almost looks like I may have to, can this be popped off? Yes, it can. Check it out. There's more and more I like about this battery tray, man. This thing is just awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Allen wrench. Locate my hole. That way it's not going to go anywhere. Make sure this battery tray is in the spot that I want. And I'm going to drill down into this hole right here. That's it. So one hole there, one hole there. I'll make sure they line up by tossing Allen wrench in this one, just to make sure. And I'll just locate this one, this with this one right here, look at that. That is perfect. So now that I know that's in place, I'm going to go ahead and just slide the car away. I want to get a piece of cardboard. This piece of cardboard. I'm going to lay it down on top. Making sure that I'm this way on that battery tray. Because obviously this is going to be the inboard side. So I'm going to want to have it like this. And... What I will do is 
take my drill bit. would be to, to actually use the allen wrenches. Right, so we get that one. And then we get this one. So through that hole. Back to this hole. Like that. And then basically all I'm going to do is I want to push down and make impressions on the cardboard where those dimples are that I'm going to need to make happen in the chassis. So that one, another one right there. That should have worked. So there we go. So now what I know is that that's one, that's one, that's one, and that's one. So now to do is just basically transfer this onto the chassis um, where I want those other uh, holes to be. So pretty much like like that, I think. ESC's in the way. Dang it. Alright, well. You know what I could do? I could transfer it to the other side. Make it easier. Just need to locate... That's why it's so easy to not do this as a video. I don't lose alum wrenches and all this other stuff. So basically that is where it should be. Right there. So what I could do is I could tape it. So I got my body mounts getting all jacked up. So maybe what I should do is just tape this in place. I'll tape it. Making this way more difficult than it needs to be. It's just a battery tray. Alright. Those, those are located. Put this over. Basically, that's where that needs to be. So what I should do is just take the drill bit and just drill into it. So that should be it. So it's one, two, three, not that one. So it's one, two, and then three, four. So now I just need to get that bigger bit, which I believe was this one, should be fine. They measure out at 475. So that's a five. That's a five. Four seven three. This just won't be enough. I'll have to file it in. I think I'm just gonna go with the five. Five should be all right. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the five. <laughs> it's five twelve. Five three. 
four, seven, three. So I'll go with the five, five, three. this one first This one. And hopefully that lines up. See in a second. And it's real close on that back one. That back one is the only one that didn't line up exact. So off that one right there so just a little bit more Now I can go ahead and put my see if I put my element into there. Yep, that's that one. Element into there. Yep, that's that one. All right, cool. So now what I need to do is um, get the correct screws. So we have one, two that I drilled out. That one's the only one that I had to ovalize. These three are perfect. That one I just had to file just a little bit. So, and I'm actually, I'm okay with that. Um, yeah. So I need to get the proper drill bit for these mounting screws. So we already have that one, that one. My block of wood. Basically just drill into it. So one, two. So I think I'll just go for the four for now. Now I'm just gonna drill these out to what they need to be. I don't feel like kind of sinking because I don't think it's really gonna matter. I think I'm just gonna put the battery tray in place. And I'm just gonna that one, that one, and these two in the front. Got it. 
these ones could probably be a little bit longer but it looks like the VT now has a battery tray holy smokes that is awesome and this these screws could definitely be longer we could definitely make those ones longer this one's a little too short it's not grabbing enough just want to make sure it's not too long. No, that's actually perfect. If I countersink, oops, I need that washer. If I countersink, I could use a shallower uh, screw. But this seems like it's going to work perfect. So, I only messed up on one hole. Well, messed up on this hole too, but it's because I just, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention to how the cardboard was. That's all right. Whatever. But there we go. One, two, three, four. All the way across. Battery tray installed. You can see the screws. Look at that. Coming right through. Absolutely perfect. Nothing's going to touch the battery. I could even put a piece of foam in there just to make sure that there's no issue. Um... I should drill these holes too, as well. Yeah, I can't get down into the metal. So I think for now, uh, this is just gonna have to sit as is. Uh, the one, two screws right there would obviously be for the Velcro, um, keeping that more stable, which, God, that's probably important, isn't it? Ah, oh, whatever. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run with it. I need to get this thing out. So now we're going to take a look at the uh, 6S pack sitting in there like a stinking glove. Look at that. You've got to be kidding me. And then even the strap for the wires for the, bi uh, not bind plug, this thing, whatever you want to call this, the balance port. VT now has a battery thing. Check that madness out. Look at this. Put this little thing in here. Check that out. Slide up. In. Down. Mint. Absolutely perfect. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at that. This thing now has a battery tray. Holy smokes. I think I'm actually going to be able to rip this thing. So that was it. So basically that's all it was, was just kind of redneck fitting a battery um, holder, tray, battery tray from the Arma Mojave. Was the Arma Mojave Arma's best creation so far? I'm kind of going with that. I mean, I just took a Mojave battery tray and stuffed it inside my VT for a perfect fit. Granted, two of my holes were not perfect, but I'm all right with that. So anyways, if you like this uh, episode from RC Guy Garage, you already know what to do. Just get out there and rip it.